All right, Tom had the idea that we should go through the pack and see. We get a lot of questions on kind of a gear list of what you guys pack for. This is just a three day hunt that I went on and you can see that I probably have a problem and whatever, however big my pack is, I usually fill it up, but it's really not all that heavy. It's probably, probably 50 pounds. Um, anyway, I obviously got my bugle and spare butane for cooking sleeping pad. I have a water bladder in there to pack, but I also like this just doesn't weigh anything for measuring out for dried food in mountain houses. I have just my guide jacket, QU. I have my rain gear in there. I, I was just keeping it in there in case I need it. And toothbrush and some miscellaneous stuff, my tags and lighter. And then I have walking stick that Tom can probably use. <laughs> yep. um, got a QU sleeping bag stuffed in a little compression sack. QU two man tent. This is GoPro. For the middle, I've got a weird thing about packing an extra set of shoes. And your crazy your feet get wet. Those are light. I'll probably wear those today. Got meat, elk meat sticks from last year. I smoked some salmon. I like to mix in some real food with freeze dried food. If you just go freeze dried food alone, it feels like you can just never get full. And then I lost my top to my snack pack, but snacks, dried food, and then this is all my spare clothes. Um, I brought a machete in case we need to, in case we actually kill something and need to pack a trail. Got a trail, but things like that. And then in the top I've got my gloves, more snacks, water filter, flashlight. That's about the gist of it, but this is a little trick I learned. I love these compression sacks because that is all my clothes right there that I need for this hunt. It, it is nice weather, but I always pack, I pretty much pack the same stuff no matter what. So I got a spare set of socks and gloves, long johns, rain gear, bottoms, rain gear tops in there, and then down jacket and down pants because you just never know hunting in the northwest if you get into a bad situation where you got freezing rain or snowing or whatever and you're wet and cold you can at least I can at least bundle up in my down and got wool socks and so Tom reminded me if I got to talk about all the little stuff so you, yeah help might help you remind you on the hunt I also have my in reach I keep in case we have an emergency and I got two different kinds of knives, a knife sharpener, lighters. I use, I actually really like these Victor Knox. Um, my wife made this, made this little duct tape case, but these things are awesome for deboning or caping out. They have a little flex, like a flay knife. And then I also use the standard Havilon. We're not sponsored by Havilon, but I, ha I will tell you that um, we've used other brands of Havilon, and if it's not the Havilon brand blades, we fought them. That's all I'm gonna say. And then uh, water bladder. This side, toilet paper, parachute cord, a way to recharge my phone because all my maps are on my phone. Rubber gloves, in case you need to, in case you kill a wolf, you get real dirty, kill a wolf or something. Rain cover. This is more my survival side. SOS. A little sleeping pad if I gotta stay the night. Fire starter and game bags and first aid kit. And one thing, one little experience I had last year, I got in a bee's nest in Alaska with Adam, and I got stung right here in the throat multiple times. And my throat started to swell up, and I've never really swelled up or had a reaction because of bees. Um, but I was kind of fumbling through that kit. My wife put that together for me. I didn't know what was in there and. Thank goodness I found some Benadryl and took it and it swelling went down right away. And then another must that I've found on 
when you're up here, you only got one, really one set of base clothes like this is pack baby wipes, Costco baby wipes. Those things are awesome. You don't even need to take a shower. That's it. So what do you recommend having in your hunting pack? Let us know in the comment section below. We want to hear from you.